So this is the monitor that is connected to the Pi. One thing I need to forewarn you is that often it's easy to just go ahead and click install, but you're going to get yourself in a bind if you do that. Especially if you're in the U.S., you're going to notice that it comes up with the English uh, UK version of language. And so you can fix that later, but it's really kind of tedious. So I'm in the U.S., so I'm going to select English U.S., and uh, then we're going to go ahead and click on Raspbian, and then we're going to go ahead and install. And this takes a while. This takes, so oh, 20 minutes or so. So we're going to go ahead and let it do that. Just in case you're wondering what that little green blotch is on my screen in the upper left hand corner, it just so happens to be <laughs> a broken screen, uh, but I love this uh, monitor, works well, and has HDMI, so I guess I ought to get a new monitor. LS installed successfully, we're going to reboot and then configure the operating system. <coughs> Behold the open road. Okay, this is uh, Raspbian running. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is get our Wi Fi configured. Um, and let's, I think the first thing I'm going to do is get our Pi configured the way we want it really not a lot that you need to do here. Um, most of these defaults are fine. This camera is the camera port on the Pi, which we're not using. Uh, we're going to use a USB camera. Um, Spy and I squared C. I have a feeling that we need to enable I squared C. Uh, so I'm going to do that because I know that we hooked up the SD, SCL and SDA ports, and that's I squared C. Um, we don't need remote GPIO. Performance, we're not going to overclock, um, and we should be okay here. So the only thing we had to do was enable I squared C. We don't need to expand the file system. You can change the password. The default password is Raspberry, um, but normally you won't need it. Um, and the default user is PI. Okay. It's probably going to tell me it wants to reboot. Nope. Um, we want to configure the uh, Wi-Fi so my I have a couple routers here I'm going to type in the pre-shared key and see if we can get our internet working <coughs> So now we have internet. Just to double check that, we'll open the browser. And there we go. So we're connected.